What's up everybody, it's Justin at Empire Music, EmpireMusic.com, coming to you today with a new line for us, new builder that we've been working with since the NAMM show back in April. This is the Electro Liner from Coward Guitars, um, Doug Cower and all the fine folks um, over at Coward Guitars in uh, Elk Grove, Sacramento, California. Um, this is the Electro Liner in Poseidon Blue Flake, um, very cool finish super elevated um, on top of the, on top of the finish on the guitar we also have a finish on the binding this has a silver sparkle binding um, all the way around around the body around the neck um, beautiful beautiful guitar so uh, met Doug Cower out at the NAMM show Anthony and I uh, went out there in April and this was one of the guitars that was on display at the show so this was one of the guitars that that we saw we played at the show and we you know, were really impressed with. Um, which for us as a, you know, a dealer of other Fender, you know, Fender Custom Shop guitars, other Strat types, um, this guitar, I'd say out of the case, was, hesitate to say the least appealing to me, but it was, it was out of all the other, out of all the Cowher guitars, this was the one that's like, I thought, oh, it's another, another S type, you know, another Strat. Um, but it has quickly become my favorite Cower guitar in the store, um, and, and I'll explain why. Let's go through the specs. So, roasted maple neck on this guy. Um, check out the pictures on the website of the tuners. I'll flip it over and we can check it out. But it's a hip shot open gear locking tuner, and they are... This is the first guitar I've ever handle that has these tuners on it and they are phenomenal tons of stability on this guitar um, i've played this guitar a, a decent amount here in the shop and it holds a tune very well i'm very impressed with the tuners um, nice uh, proloid buttons on those uh, as we move down the guitar um, some specs about the neck we have a 12 inch radius on a wenge fingerboard which is a, a wood that doug uses on I don't know that he uses it exclusively on his builds, but um, in talking to him, I know he uses it a lot. He's, he goes for sustainable woods. Um, Wenge is a wood that is uh, it's harder than rosewood. And it, you know, visually, you know, looking up close on this, has, uh, you know, the striations in the wood, the veins in the wood are very tight and very uniform. So it, it has an elevated feel to it and a really rich look to it up close. So um, really sets off the inlay uh, that's, that's embedded in there. We have a keystone inlay, hollowed out keystone inlay on, on this particular guitar. Um, Neckwise, Kaur calls this a standard C. Spec-wise, it's first fret, we're at about a 0.88 depth, 0.88 inches up to a nine, I'll have to check my notes, it's a nine, nine three. So that puts it on par or close to, um, just for reference, almost like a Fender American Professional two neck, maybe with a little bit more meat on it. You know, I, I played the two back to back recently and, and this one just has a little bit more, but it's a very comfortable modern playing neck. Uh, big fan of the 12 inch radius. So that's kind of a sweet spot for me. I really like it a lot. Um, moving down to the body, swamp ash underneath the finish, um, so very familiar tone wood for an electric guitar, and uh, the pickups. We have, uh, try not to blind you with the finish, it's a Mojo Strat-sized gold foil pickup, um, which I've seen pop up in some other boutique builders um, that have used this brand. But getting these in a strat size, getting a gold foil in a strat size pickup is pretty cool. Um, the, the name of the game here is Clarity and Definition. They have a touch of vintage warmth to them. It, I find them to be, you know, plugging through a fuzz pedal or clean. They, they do everything very well. Uh, you hear the note separation between the strings. Uh, hopefully that comes through in my, in my playing demonstration. And then moving down, we have the, uh, the bridge on this, which is a Wilkinson uh, bridge with highwood contoured saddles. So uh, the saddles are actually pretty cool. They're you know vintage style saddles. If you've never 
handled a guitar, or played a guitar that has a uh, bridge like this. Um, but they have the they have the groove in the middle of the saddle, so the string fits nicely in there. Again, stability. All right, let's check out some clean pickup tones. Uh, this is the Mojo Strat size gold foil neck pickup. Neck and middle together. It's that familiar strat tone, uh, middle position by itself. So much definition out of that middle pickup. It's kind of becoming my favorite position on this guitar which is not typically the case with Strat uh, style guitars for me personally. All right, uh, middle and bridge together. <laughs> Last but not least, the bridge pickup alone. roll off that tone a little bit on the bridge just to see how much we can warm that up. This is the tone all the way off. And rolling the tone back in. Pretty big variance in the tone knob there. You, you can really dial back the, don't want to call it harshness, but you know, the brittleness of, of what a strap pickup actually sounds like. Um, so a lot of definition out of all the, all the positions. I find that these single coils alone by themselves, um, individually without combining, um, in positions one, three, and five, again, a lot of definition. Uh, tons of clarity. So uh, something, it's a nice alternative to your traditional Strat style pickups. So hopefully that comes through in the video. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask us about that. All right, now let's hear the gold foils with a little bit of dirt. Uh, we'll run it with an Earthquaker Westwood, um, kind of a, a medium, medium gain setting. Uh, we'll start with the neck pickup. Let's go. Neck and middle. A little more 
more sparkle on that setting. All right, bridge pickup alone. And moving down, we have the middle and the bridge together. And last but not least, the Bright Bridge Pickup. So one of the great things about a boutique guitar, a cower guitar, any of these, these high-end smaller brands is that you get to experience the perspective of the master craftsman. And that, to me, is something that comes across playing this guitar and some of the other kind of boutique lines that we carry. Um, you get to see Doug Cower's point of view about what a guitar is, what it's been, and what it can be. So it's, it's kind of forward thinking, you know, offset Strat inspired body, um, different materials on the neck that you don't typically get impeccable fret work, um, just car frets, um, plect frets, all that kind of stuff. You get to experience that designer, that builder's vision of what a guitar should be. So um, very impressive guitar to play. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. If you have any questions, uh, hit me up, hit in, any of the guys in the shop up, we'll be glad to help you out. Uh, like the video, subscribe, comment, um, questions. Thanks for watching.